dear students in my previous video with reference to the british expansion and consolidation i have taught you first karnatak war second karnatak war and third karnatak war today i'll teach you basically british east india company and french east india company both company wanted to establish empire in india with reference to these objective three uh, karnatic war taken place so first one i have taught you study and causes i have taught of the first karnatic war that uh, austrian war of succession that this event taken place in europe but impact was in india also because both both country countries were rival in european continent so when they started fighting so in india also both companies started fighting so after that one uh, exla sepal treaty was signed in europe and accordingly here also in india also uh, struggle between uh, french and english get over also second karnataka war i have taught you that one treaty was signed treaty of pondicherry and in after that treaty again peace created peace uh has been restored now today i'll teach you third carnatic war that is very very important in 1756 a war broke out between the french and english in europe known as seven years war this led to the war in india between the two companies dear students i have already taught that ki french sorry france and england were rival in European politics. So, in first Carnatic War, I have taught you that war of succession started in Europe, and Austrian war of succession started in Europe. So, there were two groups. First, and England participated first group, and then France uh, participated in second group. After that, what happened? Austrian war of succession started. So that's why. the struggle is started between england and france also in european continent so impact taken place impact taken place in india also because in india both country had factory had uh, uh, respective uh, factory french east india company and english east india company that's why they started fighting again this occasion came to existence when seven years war started in europe and again here England and France were revival. So when Seven Years War started in Europe, so impact was there in India also. And again, British East India Company and French East India Company started fighting. So two causes you should understand. First Anglo, first Carnatic War taken place when Austrian War of Succession started, and third Carnatic War taken place when Seven Years War started in Europe. It so means some European incident taken place uh, in Europe, and after that impact taken place in India also. So please be careful regarding this. Going to explain this uh, now. The English captured Pondicherry. I have taught you Pondicherry was French possession. This means that the end of French power in India. The third and final round. of the struggle proved decisive victory of the britishers and pondicherry and some other french settlement were no doubt returned to the french by treaty of paris one treaty of paris was signed and how many territory captured by britishers returned to french but these possession given only for trading privilege and they were not allowed to fortify it means now the dream of duple or france abolished by the treaty of paris and one more battle is there i, I would like to mention the battle that was fought that battle of bandi was and in this battle what happened britishers defeated french and the dream of duple and french over after this war and by treaty of paris what happened 
पॉंडिचेरी एंड अदर फ्रेंच पोजिशन रिटर्न टू फ्रेंच फॉर ट्रेडिंग प्रिवलेज नॉट फॉर फोर्टिफाइंग नॉट फॉर एनी आर्मी एक्टिविटीज ओके सो ओनली दिस मच आई वुड लाइक टू टीच इन दिस वीडियो एंड वन मोर पॉइंट आई वुड लाइक टू टीच दैट फ्रेंच ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी कंपिटेंट कंपनी एंड इंग्लिश ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी वॉज ऑल्सो बट वेन बोथ कंपनीज फाइटिंग इन इंडिया सो वट आर द रीजन दैट इंग्लिश डॉमिनेटेड फ्रेंच इन इन दिस वीडियो ओनली आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन सो डियर स्टूडेंट प्लीज पे टेंशन आई हैव टॉट यू दैट ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी ब्रिटिश ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी वॉज सेटअप इन सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड इन यूरोप इन इंग्लैंड एंड दैट कंपनी टेकन परमिशन फ्रॉम क्वीन एलिजाबेथ फर्स्ट एंड कंपनी केम टू इंडिया फॉर ट्रेड एंड कॉमर्स एट इनिशियल स्टेज कंपनी इन्वॉल्व इन ओनली ट्रेड एंड कॉमर्स कंपनी हैड नॉट टेकन कंसर्न इन पोलिटिकल अफेयर्स पोलिटिकल मीन्स इन एनी एनी पोलिटिकल फोरम कंपनी वॉज नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्टर्ब आर गोइंग टू इंटरफियर कंपनी टारगेट वॉज देयर कंपनी यूज टू गिव गिव टू रूलर्स लोकल रूलर्स आर मुगल रूलर्स एंड कंपनी वॉन्टेड टू गेट प्रिवलेस दैट वॉज द टारगेट एंड कंपनी हैड गॉट लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट इन इंडिया बाई ट्रेड ओनली एंड टिल औरंगजेब कंपनी वॉज ओनली इन्वॉल्व इन ट्रेड एंड कॉमर्स and once joseph child was there and he wanted to uh, establish empire and he attacked on Ch chitgang and finally what happened that, uh, that time uh, aurangzeb was the mughal emperor very competent mughal emperor i think you know and after that he attacked on uh, british east india company and how many british possessions were there all all possessions were seized and finally what happened the again britishers requested to uh, aurangzeb and aurangzeb again given given privilege but uh, compensation taken 15 lakhs now when french east india company french east india company came very late in 1664 company came to india and company in, in initial stage company wanted to occupy political power in india company is in, from starting only company wanted to interfere in the local affairs and by local affairs company wanted to gain po political power and by political power company wanted to replace in english east india company that company already okay very much powerful in india so now going to teach you ki what are the reason that english dominated french one the english company was a private comp enterprise the this created a sense of self confidence among the people the french company was a state owned company means government company and i think now no, you are familiar that if any private company is there so private company will not get fund from anywhere that's why company will work with with 100% accuracy next the english navy was superior to the french i think you know war of trafalgar i have taught you in this battle uh, british navy defeated napoleon i have taught you so means second reason was there ki british navy was very competent and it helped to cut off the link between the french position in india and france the third one the english had three important place कलकत्ता बॉम्बे एंड मद्रास वेयर फ्रेंच हैड ओनली वन कोस्टल पोजिशन दैट पॉंडिचेरी एंड लास्ट वन दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द फ्रेंच सबॉर्डिनेटेड देयर कमर्शियल इंटरेस्ट टू टेरिटोरियल एम्बिशन विच मेड द फ्रेंच कंपनी शॉर्ट ऑफ फंड मीन मीनिंग इफ एनी कंपनी इज गोइंग टू इंटरफेयर इन पोलिटिकल अफेयर्स ऑफ any king princely state so definitely company will provide soldiers company will provide equipment uh, company will provide uh, ammunition gun whatever so company company's expenditure will be more and company fully dependent on the government fund 
and company not gen going to generate own revenue own money so that will be very difficult for surviving of that company same happen with french east india company and next point i would like to mention here ki clive definitely very very competent so and i am not telling that duplex was not competent duplex was also very competent uh, voice rai a french voice rai but when he was making plan and during second uh, karnataka war duplex was called off means uh, french government uh, uh, called duplex and after duplex how many uh, voice rai came to existence they were not competent like duplex and in 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 french east india company english east, east indian company how many governors were there voice rai were there and they were very very competent because they came by election process and they will be responsible to the their own investors so in this video only this much and next video i'll teach you next topic thank you